August 31st, 1996 will go down in the history books as the day the Big 12 Conference opened its doors as the nation's premier football conference. And the historians will note that on that day, the winner of the first ever Big 12 Conference football game was Kansas State. All-American wide receiver Kevin Lockett made three key receptions, including a brilliant 29-yard grab on this third down play. On third and two, play action fake for Kavanaugh. Back to throw, looks, throws a pass out for Kevin Lockett. The pass is caught by Lockett inside the 15, down to the 12-yard line. Kevin Lockett went up and pulled it in over Corey Turner, and K-State's back in business at the Tech 12. The Cats then added two more touchdowns to take a comfortable 21-3 lead early in the fourth quarter. Throws a little inside screen to Dean to the 15, Jimmy to the 10, hurdles the defender, five, touchdown K-State, Jimmy Dean hurdles over a man at the five and goes in for the score, and K-State now leads 13 to three. Candy back to retrieve for K-State, 13 minutes left of this game. High snap over Hernandez's head, it's loose in the end zone. Jerry Hernandez can't get it, K-State lands on the football, Mario Smith is there, it's a touchdown for Kansas State. A late rally brought Texas Tech within striking distance, but the Wildcats preserved the 21-14 victory as Mario Smith and Lamar Chapman combined to break up this fourth down pass in the final minute. Hundreds back to throw on fourth down, looks, throws to the end zone, the pass is caught and fumbled at the play. They're gonna say it's incomplete. They're gonna say it's incomplete. The receiver had it, got nailed and lost the football and K-State's gonna win them a game here today against the Texas Tech Red Raiders in the inaugural Big 12 game. They take over on downs at the 21 yard line. The Wildcats flex their muscles in week two with a 59-3 blistering of Indiana State. And now the clock at 15 seconds. Kavanaugh trying to hurry them up and get them in the line of scrimmage. Third and fourth on the 25. Brian back to throw with 10 seconds down a half. Look, set, throws toward the end zone. Finds Jarrett Grostenier. has got a touchdown, K-State. Jarrett Grostenier from St. Paul, Kansas. But it was a couple of young Wildcats who turned in the play of the day. Play action fake for Beasley. Here comes a heavy rush. Beasley eludes the rush. Looking downfield, has a man wide open, way down the field. He spots him, gets a pass out. Pass caught by Troy Hackney. 15, 10, 5, Hackney dies. Touchdown, Kansas State. Jonathan Beasley, a 57-yard touchdown pass to Troy Hackney. After narrowly missing a shutout against Indiana State, the Wildcat defense would not be denied in week three. On second and eight for the 29. Plummer back in the pocket to throw. Has time, here comes the rush, eludes one man, but can't get away from Niall Wyron. Wyron catches him from behind, back at the 35. K-State's first road trip of the season took the Wildcats to Houston for a matchup with the much improved Rice Owls. Brian Cavanaugh turned in another spectacular performance as he tied his own school record with four touchdown passes. Cats at the Owl 23. Brian takes a snap, back to throw, looks, has time, sets, looks over the middle, pass is caught near the goal line, touchdown, Kansas State. It's Jimmy Dean across the middle, made the catch of the three and goes in, and K-State, what a drive. They go 80 yards, and they're on the board after a 23-yard pass from Ryan Cavanaugh to Jimmy Dean. But K-State's kickoff return unit silenced any thoughts of a Rice upset as Chris Canny set sail 70 yards on the ensuing kickoff to set up Cavanaugh's second touchdown pass. 5, 10, it's the 15, 20, 25, 30, Candy to the 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, and run out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Rice's defenders trying to get their crowd into this game. A shotgun formation for K-State, 5, 4, 3 on a play clock. Snap back to Cavanaugh. Brian looks, sets, looks, gets hit, bounces off his man, looking for the downfield. Now throws toward the end zone, has a man pass caught. It's a touchdown for Kansas State. Jimmy Dean, two yards deep in the end zone, was on his knees and makes a catch. Brian Cavanaugh with enough presence of mind to pull, to look downfield and find Jimmy Dean for the score. And K-State goes up 20 to seven. In addition to his kick return, Canny kept the Owls up all night in this one as he also had an interception return for 44 yards, three puck returns for 37 yards, and one reception for 26 yards. Final score, K-State 34, Rice 7.